Hello YouTube, Magmarano here, and first off, I would like to say thank you, because I just got 200 subscribers. Um, when I woke up, I had two more, and that brought me to 200. I also got 50,000 views, I passed that mark about two days ago. So I'm at 53,000. So thank you so much for viewing my videos and subscribing and all that, it means a lot. Also, uh, I'm not getting a new camera anymore. Which is good news for you, um, because I lost, I had a uh, Sanyo VPC whatever whatever, and I lost it about six months ago. Well, I didn't really lose it, I was hiding in one of my mom's bags when we went on a skiing trip, but that's besides the point, I found it and now I'm using it. Which means for Christmas I'll most likely be getting the dock for this, so you can all see how that is. Alright, now I'm going to get to what I'm talking about today. Uh, rooting over clocking and alternate user interfaces. First off, I'm going to go with the alternate user interfaces because I'm using one right now. Uh, the main benefits of this are everything. Uh, there's not many tablet optimized ones out there. I think there's only two or three. But this one is called ADW EX Launcher. I have a video about it. I might put an annotation right there if I feel like it or not. But it's really great because I have a live wallpaper right now. Normally that lags everything so much, but as I can see, scrolling is still perfectly smooth. Also, you may notice I have more icons on the page, because I changed the amount of columns and rows. And I have a dock here, which is expandable. You can get as big as you want, and then you can scroll it. Also brings in folders. Um, the new Android update will have folders, but that's besides the point, because that's not coming out for two months or so. Um, and also, there's a ton of settings in this you can change. You can change, like, anything you want. There's so many options that you can choose and customize it to your liking. That's really good. And then also, there's themes here. Uh, if you are using this, never, like, go here and hit Apply Theme, because that uh, overrides all of your settings. So what you want to go here is go to your icons and pick the theme that you want the icons for. So say you want this white theme, whatever. Main dock, you don't use it on the tablet, you use the hidden dock bar, which is the thing on the bottom you'll see. So, as you can see, a texture pack's applied, changes some of the icons, uh, it's pretty cool. It's like themes, like if you ever have an iPod Touch and you jailwork it, you can get themes. This is the equivalent for uh, doing it on Android without hacking it in any way. So let me just move back this to default I forget how to do that oh right ADW default theme also another benefit of this in case you're you ever start lagging for some reason like crazy and so it's like skipping like this you would open something up it's slow you go into your settings you hit restart ADW it just restarts the launcher uh, clears the catch and restarts it and everything will be smooth again so you don't have to restart your tablet. Alright, now I'm going to go into routing. This is not rooted, so I'm just going to go over the benefits of it without being able to show you. Basically what rooting does is it allows you to uh, overclock your tablet, which I'll get into later. And it allows you to get certain apps from the app market that require a rooted device. Rooting it basically gives you control to everything in the tablet. Whereas right now you get control to pretty much everything. Apps can control almost everything, it's not all of it. But, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find one. Yeah, probably, you probably can't find one now. But there's a uh, screen capturing app, you need to root a device, it'll actually capture your screen. Which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, rooting isn't that beneficial on Android because it's already such a user friendly open interface. Uh, but. Overclocking is a big thing that brooders uh, do it for. Basically what that does is it takes your CPU, uh, it's a dual core, so you can add like 200 megahertz to each one, and you can make it go from uh, 2, and 2 gigahertz to almost 2.5 gigahertz processors. So that's pretty awesome. And if you're wondering if that's safe, 
yes, it is completely safe to do it as long as you're only going up by about 20%. And I'm sure people are going to argue with me, but when um, these CPUs are made, they're made to handle more than they can do. And they are made to handle it safely. But what companies do is they, uh, I don't know what you call it, they like underclock them almost. Uh, because otherwise the prices would all just drop and it would be pointless because you could buy a really fast processor for really cheap. So they limit them and so they can still sell them for like a decent amount of money to companies like this. So if you are going to overclock it, don't go more than 20-25% over. Uh, it might, might increase your tablet's temperature a tiny bit. It's not going to damage it. It's not going to be noticeable. If you start going like 50% overclocking, so you're going like 3 gigahertz now, that's dangerous. You're going to fry your CPU. Don't do that. Um, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, this was based off a suggestion from I forget who, but I'll put it in the description. Uh, so thank you for watching. Please, if you like my stuff, hit that subscribe button up top. Hit the like button down there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks again.